from beautiful Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the Detroit Tigers and the Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming your way next. Next is the Tigers DH, Jay Mack. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way. Driver to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. And next to hit for Detroit, Jay Mack. Switch hitter batting from the right side here. It's so impressive over the course of his career how he's been able to become a force on both sides of the plate. And he grounds one back up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And that keeps his hitting streak going. He's making this look way easier than it is, Boog. Setting the record is hard enough, but to keep pumping it every day like he is, I don't really know what to say anymore. At this point, it honestly feels like it's never going to end. Absolutely remarkable. Now here is Glenn Stevenson. Whitaker over at second. Hey, Mack at first, two out of the inning. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That's back there. That one hops against the fence. Hey, great scene right there. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. So up next, Jay Mack. This guy is one of the best now athletes that. in the sport. Oh, Singing, he's there. a guy that covers both sides Matt. of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Now batter. So digging in, Jay Mack, one for three. Up next, been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. First offering misses badly for ball one. Hey, turn that pitch on. Here you go. And the pitch. And that one hammered. Bangs off the wall. Runner around third into score. Oka with a relay throw, and he's in there. A run comes in on the play. Hey, that's a really big RBI as he snags himself three bases in the process. Came screaming off the bat, I'm sure. Exit velocity is off the charts. No doubt he squared that baseball up perfectly. So there was no fluke to that triple by any means. Now it just comes down to some situational hitting with the tying run at third. New pitcher on here, Josh Rodriguez. And he'll do his Number best five. to hang on to this lead. Yeah. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Huge strikeout there. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Hey, one pitch right here. Come on now. Next offering is down low, and that's ball three. Mack takes his lead at third with one away. Hey. 
The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the Here barrel to it and hit it to the five. outfield. Next pitch has popped up. Who sizing this one up. Makes the catch. And there's two down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Yeah, Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself Mead. until his next at bat. And next up for the Tigers, yeah, Curtis Mead. Here we go now. Come on now. One time. Fought off foul. Oh, big guy. See you driving right here. Here's a one two. And now two and two. Two and two. Hey, let it rip. Let it rip. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Hey, let it rip. Let it rip. Let it go. At the belt and fires. He swings and fouls one off. Wait for your pitch up there. Next offering is fouled back. Rudder at third, two away. Swing and a miss, and that is that. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. The Red Sox out front, 12 to 11. Welcome back. Here's some real power at the plate. Jay Mack. Leading off for the Tigers. The designated hitter. Jay. The wind of the Mack. pitch. Swing at a ball popped up. Oka under it. Makes the catch for the out. Hey, partner, how's your scorecard looking right now? A little dicey. Kind of oh, hieroglyphics style game. at the moment. What? You know what it's like, Singy? So two down, hey, no next to the right plate here. is the Tigers' DH, Jay Mack. A switch hitter batting yeah. right. He Mack. is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And first offering is fouled off. A defensive swing right there, some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. The pitch. Softly hit the third. They limit the damage here. Bottom part of. You know, even when these guys were trailing by six, it seemed like they had confidence that they could get back in this ball game. I don't know if they knew they could win it in this fashion, but they did an excellent job of executing in the little ways. They grinded it out and came away with a nice W. High scoring ball game in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.